Hey everybody, hope you're all doing alright out there. So, the motorcycle stethoscope. Yeah, I made a thing that allows you to basically listen to a motorcycle like a stethoscope. And this is going to mean you can hear a motorcycle in a way that you've never heard one before. Let me demonstrate. So what you just heard was the key going in the ignition and every single tumbler pin moving out of the way and then you can hear the whine of the fuel pump and then the bike starting. But depending on where we put this on the bike, we're going to hear a different thing. So I thought, let's try a few different things out for a bit of fun. If you find this video interesting, give us a like, because as I say, it's just something I realised I could do and I thought, I've never heard a bike like that. But if you're thinking, yeah, I want to hear it riding down the road, Video's coming, check it out on my Patreon now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go around the bike and listen to different parts in different scenarios. Like, I wanna listen to the wheel bearings, although no, I know what I'm gonna hear is the brakes grabbing occasionally. Uh, I also wanna hear it like with and without the chain running. Okay, let's listen to my wheel bearings, although as I say, I think what we're gonna hear is my disc. I think you can hear the bearing. They are fine, they're completely solid, so by, you know, the way that you normally would check bearings, they're 100% okay. The brakes are binding a little, I think these discs might have a very slight warp in them. Okay, so now it's the sound of the chain. Be interesting to see what this sounds like with the bike in gear and not in gear, because like, how much clicking does that on add on top of the engine sound? Okay, what I'm going to do now, start the engine and listen to different parts of the engine. A few things I want to point out here. Number one, this bike has got 60,000 miles on it, so it's going to sound a little loose. Uh, it does need an oil change, and that'll be interesting to see how it sounds now compared to when I do an oil change in the future, so that's another video I'll do. But also, <laughs> this is the internet, so I'm aware that every single person is going, sounds like your bottom end's going, sounds like your piston's going, sounds like your gudgeon pins are loose, sounds like your valves are gone, sounds like, sounds... Remember, oh, by the way, I'm in a garage, but the door is open. I'm not trying to asphyxiate myself. Don't do this in a lot enclosed environment. Okay, so let's go for the stator cover. Okay, so now the clutch side. Water pump. The exhaust. This chain could probably do with a bit of lube, so let's listen to the chain running without lubing it and then put lube on and see if you hear it quieten down. Just for fun. Don't worry, my hands are out of the way.
Okay, it's possible my chain's not at the right tension. It's possible that it's a little dirty and it's grabbing and jumping. It's even possible that my sprocket on the front needs replacing. I'm gonna find out this winter. Subscribe to see those videos. So this video was just a bit of fun, clearly, but there are some practical uses for something like this. You know, because when you're trying to listen to the side of an engine to listen to a part, you can do things like, or listen to a wheel bearing, you can put a screwdriver hat handle up to the side of your head on your basically on your skull, press that onto the thing and it directly sends the sound to your ear so you hear that sound rather than all the other ambient sounds going on. So there are practical reasons that you might want something like this. Obviously on a motorcycle we've got very small engines, everything's very close together, with a car it's a bit more separated out so you could listen to individual things, but yeah, quite an interesting little thing. If there's something you'd like to hear from a contact microphone's perspective, and yes, oh, by the way, this is the same sort of thing that, oh, hold on. You see, you can put it on your throat, and now it becomes a contact mic. Got your bar by 208, mail in, 33, kill like. <laughs> so, yeah, if there's anything you want to see a contact microphone attached to, I can do that in a short. Yeah, as I say, like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and uh, help support me on Patreon if you'd like, so I can build more stupid things like this.